If you're a solo camera operator, you're probably very familiar with the challenge of trying to hold the frame and pull focus simultaneously. Whether you're shooting documentaries, corporate videos, or just making your own projects, the product I'm talking about today might be worth keeping on your LiDAR. <laughs> Released to the market in 2023, PD Movie's Live Air 3 Smart Wireless Follow Focus is one of only two competitive rigs that offers a full autofocus mode. It uses a compact LiDAR system supported by an AI virtual lens model database to keep the subject in focus, allowing solo operators to concentrate fully on the frame and motion of the camera. But how well does it work? Can it be trusted in the moment you need it to have your back? There are some compelling reasons why it may be a must-have addition to your kit, but there is room for improvement that might make it the wrong tool for the job. So let's get into it. The Live Air 3 Smart comes with everything you need to hit the ground filming, all packed into a presentable, protective carry case. Along with a single unit LiDAR motor that can act as a focus or zoom gear, Bluetooth controller, and hand wheel, the kit has two batteries for each device, a battery charging block, and a focus assist sticker, which we'll get into in a little bit. For hardware, the kit has a cold shoe clamp, a universal mounting clamp, and two 15 mm diameter rods, one that's 10 mm and another in 5 mm length, along with a rod adapter so you can optimize the LiDAR placement. For those with lenses that don't have focus gears, they have included a lens gear ring as well as lens label stickers, which we will also get into soon enough. From case to camera, the Live Air 3 is simple and fast to put together. And you can tell that PD Movie had solo filmmakers in mind when they designed it. The motor is small and lightweight, and it is ready out of the box to mount on most standard builds. The 31 mm diameter Bluetooth controller has a quarter inch bolt, so it can be used in the hand wheel or threaded onto your camera rig without taking up all of your real estate. The motor has a battery life of 8 to 10 hours, and the controller has a range of up to 100 meters uh, or 300 feet in perfect conditions. The manufacturing quality is quite good, it is robust, and everything fits together nicely. There are a couple of hurdles right off the top that might make you think twice about the purchase. The motor battery is not standard and it requires a specific install and removal technique that isn't obvious. If you don't pull it off to the side before removing, it is going to take a lot of force and might damage the unit over time. The battery for the controller, which also requires some effort to install and remove, is an LIR2477 button battery, which is a little more common, but not one you can get at your local convenience store. The more important hurdle is that both the controller and the motor are coded for single button operation. PD Movie advertises this as a positive feature. I would call it a frustrating function. There is a range of commands you can input, but you will have to memorize PD Movie's Morse code or refer to the manual. They kindly put a cheat sheet on the back of the motor, but in a size 2 font that is hard to read even in good lighting conditions. The last hurdle is the limited feedback from the device when you activate different functions. There is no display window like the Nucleus has, so you now have another dialect of Morse code to learn to interpret the blinking lights that display status. The code is fairly simple, but the lights are awkwardly positioned on the front facing side of the motor, so not visible from the operator's position. That said, once I became fluent in Live Air's language, it took a couple of hours, its performance made me forget my frustration. Mounting the rig and running the automatic calibration can be finished in under three minutes, leaving you with full control. In what control you have? I didn't notice any latency, focus is quite precise, and for its size, the motor has Herculean power. Make sure your mounting rig is secured properly because it has the torque to jump the track. If your battery is full and USB-C hard power is plugged in, you can even get more torque out of the motor. What makes the Live Air 3 Smart an exciting tool is its LiDAR autofocus. To set up the autofocus, you will want to have the LiDAR as close to the X or Y axes of the lens and choose one of the five color-coded lens channels for each lens you want to calibrate. 
The channel will save the autofocus calibration and the kit comes with labeling stickers so you know which lens is on which channel. The lens stroke will have to be calibrated each time, but the process of marking three focal plane distances with the focus card only needs to be done once. As soon as you mark the third point, the system's AI will find the closest comparable virtual lens profile to guide the autofocus. They claim to have distilled more than 20,000 lens sets data in 512 virtual lenses. So I think you would have to try hard to find a lens that isn't compatible. Once autofocus mode is activated, the LiDAR will adjust focus to objects within four meters with a 28 degree field of view. I tested it indoors with standard house lighting and this is where the LiDAR excels, from average to dimly lit spaces. The response time was as good or better than a human operator. The addition of some interruption function in future models would make this a much more competitive product. When the autofocus is paused, you can manually adjust the focus and you can unpause to return immediately to autofocus mode. While paused, you can roll the controller to either the closest or the furthest focus point and pause for one second to set front locked or back locked autofocus. Depending on your selection, the motor will prioritize either the furthest object in range or the closest object in range, which works great for action shots with depth. The LiDAR range decreases the brighter the lighting you are shooting in, so when shooting in full sun exteriors, you will likely see the range cut down to two meters. To mitigate this, the kit does include a magnetic clip focus assist sticker. Your subject is then wearing a shiny metallic clip, which isn't the most visually appealing. So you may want to get creative with costuming. I don't feel this is a realistic solution, but it's what we got for now. If the LiDAR can't detect an object or for focus in range, it will enter a power saving mode and roll focus to five meters for five seconds, which may give you time to adjust and save the shot. If no object is detected in five seconds, focus will roll to 30 meters until a new object is detected, at which point the motor picks it up and resumes autofocus. The last function to mention is the motor's speed. While the Live Air 3 Smart doesn't offer a lot of operator customization during autofocus, it does allow you to set the motor speed to a fast 20 milliseconds response, medium 60 milliseconds response, or slow 180 milliseconds response. The focus rack was still smooth at each of the speeds, you were just setting the time to focus. It is a great function that allows you to match your focus to the pace of the scene, and it currently works decently, but it could benefit from more complex fine tuning. After having the chance to test the limits of the Live Air 3 Smart, I think that it falls into the right tool for the job category. We are seeing the early stages of a new tech implementation, and I expect and hope that we will continue to see improvements to the current models and competition from other companies. Will this be a follow focus of choice for first assistant camera operators on bigger productions with a full camera crew? Not in this iteration. There are too many quirks and limitations that would make using it on a larger production difficult and potentially disruptive to the pace of the day. Everything about the engineering, user interface, design, and price point of 500 bucks suggests the market that PD Movie is aiming for. Documentaries with small crews, often fast paced, or live filming would likely find their work made easier by putting the live air to work. Equally, PD Movie has priced this in a great place for the vast industry of mid to high budget web content. Solo filmmakers who are their own talking head will be able to move more freely in their frame without adjusting the camera. Is the Live Air 3 Smart something you would find useful in addition to your kit? Do you have an idea for how you might use it that I have missed? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, I'm Chito Fahadengs. Thank you for watching.